Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Surbhi Derasari. Dozens fear dread after floods cause immeasurable damage in South Kivu in DR Congo. The government of the province of the South Kivu in the Democratic Republic of the Congo reports catastrophic flooding has caused widespread damage and loss of life in the province over the last few days. Media reports suggest between 60 and 70 bodies have been recovered with many more feared dread. In a statement, the provincial government said heavily rains on 4th May of 2023 caused several rivers including the Kobando and Nyayakubi to overflow, flooding villages including Bushanshu and Nyayakubi in the Kalehi territory. The town of Kalehi sites on the shore of the Lake Kivu, around 50 km across the lake from the western province of Ravande, where over 100 people have died in floods and landslides over the last few days. Reuters reported humanitarian workers at the scene have recovered at least 72 bodies in Kalehi territory. Radio Kapi, the United Nations radio in the Democratic Republic of Congo, said over 60 bodies have been recovered. Many are still feared and dozens of homes and their inhabitations were swept away. The destruction is immeasurable, a local resident said. The provincial government offered its sincere condolences to beverage families. Full damage assessment are yet to be completed and the number of facilities to still to be confirmed. Roads have been destroyed or blocked, hindering access to affected areas. A delegation from the provincial government is planning to visit affected areas. Heavy rain has affected areas of South Kivu province since early April. Road traffic linking the city of the Uviria to Bukavu was suspended and 250 homes were damaged in the village of Kasanga near Uvira on 3rd of April. On 16th April, the Gold Cave River broke its banks in Kalehi damaging houses, school, churches and roads. In the following days, the Kalimaga River broke its banks near Uvira. Around 600 houses were destroyed and 180 were damaged, with 780 households displaced. These people died and one was reported missing. Heavy rain has affected other areas of the country in recent days, including in the Kavango and Utiri provinces. Around 20 homes were washed away in the town of Kivenge, the capital of Kwango province in the west of the country on 2nd of May 2023. A further 40 houses were deemed to be at risk and dozens of families have been displaced. Heavy rain and strong winds on 3rd of May destroyed more than 1,000 shelters in a camp of internally displaced in Savo in Dijavu territory in the Utiri province. Radio Okapi said around 4,000 people have been left without shelter. That's all for our news. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.